Good Wednesday, everyone. I appreciate everyone who came out last night to watch The Legend of Boggy Creek at the Palace Theater in downtown Crossville last night uh, as part of the Bigfoot Week uh, festivities. Uh, we had a lot of folks show up, even with the weather being kind of eh. But uh, yeah, people showed up and uh, we had a good time and uh, people even got their picture made with Bigfoot. Looking at our USA mortgage level of concern, we're at level one. Tonight we'll be seeing widespread frost once again. But it's going to be even frostier because I think tonight we're going to have a freeze. It's going to drop down into the 20s, and, and that will definitely end the growing season on the Cumberland Plateau. So um, just keep that in mind. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic and no severe weather to talk of through the weekend. Clearview Closet and Blind brings us our five-day forecast, and breezy today, wind gusts to 20 miles per hour, so um, that's a little bit of a change to the forecast. Looks like that north north wind's going to be a bit more brisk than what I was expecting. I thought we'd have winds of maybe 10, 12, but looks like they might be 15, 16, 17, 18, <laughs> maybe even 20 now, so uh, a breezy afternoon. Um, and highs only in the low 50s. And then we go down into the mid to upper 20s tonight. So um, widespread frost and freeze across the Cumberland Plateau. Thursday, we're mostly sunny. Highs near 60. And then Friday, we get into the mid 60s. And then by Saturday, Bigfoot Festival Day, we're in the upper 60s to around 70. I could have ordered better festival weather. I am just so proud of this forecast. <laughs> and I'm just tickled to death. Because that's the, always the wild card with the festival is what's the weather going to do. And no matter how much pull people may think I have, I really don't control the weather. So thank you, Lord, for giving us pretty weather on Saturday. Um, and uh, and for the Bigfoot 5K Friday evening, I've got, I'll have got i have over 100 runners, it looks like. I cannot believe it. got 90-something right now. And uh, so what? Plenty of runners Friday night. And what a pleasant night that'll be, too. And a full moon. For a Bigfoot 5K glow run. How awesome is that? Um, and then Sunday, we're back up into the lowest of the 70s. Around 71, it looks like. So a pleasant five-day forecast, but very frosty nights. Very frosty nights and warm afternoons. On this day in 2017, findings are published of a neutron star collision that occurred two months prior on August 17th, the first cosmic event observed in both gravitational waves and light, confirming that heavy elements such as gold result from such collisions. So I say all that to say, wow, somebody learned something that day. 1983, NASA's newest space shuttle Discovery made its public debut in a rollout ceremony. How cool that would have been to have been a part of. So joining Columbia Challenger and the Atmospheric Test Vehicle Enterprise. So exciting times back then. Meteorologist Mark's Meteorology Day sleet. Sleet occurs when snowflakes only partially melt when they fall through a shallow layer of warm air. These slushy drops refreeze as the next step through a deep layer of freezing air above the surface and eventually reach the ground as frozen drops that bounce on impact. So you've got that warm layer of air in the middle, so the snowflake melts, and then before it can reach the ground, it's able to refreeze into a sleep pellet. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk about what happens when it doesn't have time to refreeze into a sleep pellet. So sleep pellets can be kind of non-consequential. If they're just bouncing around everywhere, not a big deal. But you get any freezing rain, not much of a big deal, I should say. But if you get some freezing rain mixed in with that or even some snowflakes, whole different story. We'll talk about more of that tomorrow. You folks have a wonderful Wednesday and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.